The loyalist community is outraged. The assembly is on the verge of collapse. And the streets have broken out in waves of violence. And why? The Equality Commission, consisting of a group of elves, congregated in Tullymore Forest and recommended that Belfast change its name to represent balance in a shared city. They proposed that Belfast be renamed Belfast. However, on designated days, the city would be referred to as London Belfast. Belfast City Council voted in favour of this change. Tonight, we have the fallout on your news. Razor. With the new name in place, is parachuring about to explode like a volcano? Joining me now live is Tony Smith at Stormont. Razor Tony. Razor Eugene, and I'm joined with none other than Elf. I'm Elf from the Equality Commission, Bert Tinklebottom. Bert. What about you? So can you tell me which designated days the city will be known as London Belfast? Yes, it's the 12th of July, St George's Day and Pancake Tuesday. So why have the Commission decided on this change? Well Tony, the Equality Commission had to make these decisions. Right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Eugene. I'm interviewing a fucking elf here. Out of all the clowns in here, you get me a fucking elf to interview. Are you taking the piss there in the studio? Excuse me. What? I had not finished. What? I hadn't finished. You hadn't finished? You'll be fucking finished now. <laughs> you little bastard. Don't fucking interrupt me. Get the fucking shit in. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> ah! I'm joined now live in the studio with the DUPs, Arlene and Tina Foster's. And Sinn Fein's Liam Morton. And joining me live from the planet Kerrang is Fungulus Ford of the Alliance Party. So tell me this and tell me no more, Arlene Tina Fosters. Do you not think it rolls off the tongue a bit better? Belfast. I don't wish to know what rolls off your tongue, Eugene. Uh -huh. Although the decision was disgusting, let me making that very clear. As disgusting as you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> This is a prime example of the media living in the pockets of terrorists, like that man there. Excuse you me, Arlene. Terrorism comes in many different forms. And to generalise it like that... I'll just answer the question. No, I'm trying to answer the question, but you're going to forget God God's sake. Oh, 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 let's not hijack the show here. Let's get the views here from the Alliance Party. Fungulus Ford. Why has your party decided to vote in favour of a change to the great city of Belfast? For peace, love and understanding. Look, it's very simple, Eugene. This alien has been brainwashed by Sinn Féin. Excuse me, I'm not an alien. That is racist. We are Voldemorts. Oh yes, play the race card again. The reputation of our capital has been dragged through the gutter. Let's go to the audience. You there with the baseball cap. Eugene, I've been installing TV satellite dishes for the past 15 years. Last week I was down at Tom Malata and I got attacked by, by a seagull. We're sick and tired of all the sectarian abuse and not Sinn Féin's doing. What exactly has this got to do with Sinn Féin? Hang on a minute. Just before that seagull attacked me, he whispered in my ear. Up the ra! Liam Morta. Look, I understand your pain, so I do. But, moving forward, what we all must do is follow the actions of each seagull so they can be dealt with on a case by case basis. These seagulls are just the latest group to be in collusion with Sinn Féin IRA in the hopes for a united Ireland. Is this true, Liam Morton? Facts speak I, for I'm, themselves. Liam Morton. I'm not prepared to comment on that. This but Liam, one. you said on many occasions you want a united Ireland. Oh. The euro's a low shade. Oh. But what about the Tito factory in Tangredi? I wouldn't be seen dead even that southern Tito. That's absolutely disgusting, so it is. You do love your tato cheese and onion, don't you, Arlene? I do. And Liam Martin? I'm more of a salt and vinegar man myself. So Arlene, moving forward, what can we do to make this better? So that we all can live happily ever after? 
Well, I'm not sure we can, Eugene. I think it's too late. I will not be working with the lame Murta or any member of Sinn Féin ever again. But why, Arling, why? Well, this takes me back to Tuesday morning when I entered my office and I could see spilt milk all over my desk. There was broken glass all over the floor. And when I followed the white trail of footprints up the hall, sure enough, they led me to Liam Murta's office. Liam Murta, is this true? Eugene, I'm telling you, this, these accusations is textbook unionist perspective. Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh, yeah. 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 Razor. Did you bring the Fosters? You're a fucking bastard. You're gonna have to teach me some of that political talk you do. It's fucking brilliant. That's not the only thing I'll be teaching you.